is fitting the um, side windows in chaps so I've cut out the side windows and I've just held them in place with just held them in place with a bit of masking tape they're actually in on the side there you go look held them in place with masking tape and I've used my cockpit formula 560 uh, which is just canopy glue and I'm just working on the front windshield now got a bit of masking tape on the top just to give me a rough idea of where it's going to sit I'm just wondering if I glue it along the top just let that set and then I can bend it around and put a bit of tape down there can't do much till the top bit's set I think it's one, one of those jobs that you can't do all in one go I think possibly a small weight on the top I'll have to leave that balanced for the time being and I come back and glue it in place see you later it's a bit of a blob only got to hold it really it's I don't think it's going to come off so it doesn't really need to be all the way along but that's very neat very neat cliff now this side though is not quite so easy because it's there's a small gap at the front so I'm going to try and sort of fill it with glue basically and at least when I finish, come back later, it would be done. There we are. Two little beads of white. That will dry clear. Right, it's been a couple hours, so let's uh, let's pull this tape off and we'll see what we've got. Okay, that's looking pretty nice, chaps. The wing struts fit in this funny little recess that is in the bottom of the wing. I've just cut the tissue slightly and that just sits in there and then it also sits down on the onto the side of the fuselage. Put a bit of white glue on there. Okay, let's push that onto there. I'm going to put a bit of CA on the rest of it. So get that in where it goes. Pop the clamp on it, see how it looks all around. I think the strut's going to be quite functional on this, to be honest. It's uh, might push in a little bit tighter as well. Let's give that a go. All right. Exciting times, guys. Exciting times. I'm glad I extended the rear spar on this because it helps to locate it very nicely. I don't know why they didn't do it, really. Let that set a minute, guys, and I think I can safely now sand the bottom corner of these swing struts. Go goes in there, and that goes to there. Suddenly it seems to be gaining weight. I don't know if it really is, but from there up to there. I think that's mission accomplished. Feels a lot more solid with the struts on, that's for sure. Okay, so next stage is the tailplane. Um, and there she is. Tailplane is going to the numbers down. 
and it should just slide straight in there. That is actually slightly out. That's not bad at all. I've made worse. So let's get it lined up. Lift it very slightly to this side. This is the best part really when you see your modeling, your model rather come come together into an aeroplane. That's the best part, of course, best part is seeing it flying through the air. And a little bit on this side. Okay, chaps. Quick wipe there. I've got a little bit of surplus on. Let's get that off. It feels as one. Now, I've got some special clamps here, which I made for the Spitfire. So slide on like that. They go up to the fin. And in theory, they just hold it in place. Well, hold it 90 degrees anyway. That's the theory. So I put little pin pricks all the way up there. And I'm going to fit, I suppose I could glue it with aliphatic and then yeah it's 90 degrees all right a little bit there a little bit at the back then i'm going to run ca down it and i'm going to Hold the front end in position with a piece of this sticky tape. So we'll see. See how it goes. That's going to go there. And that isn't going to go there. That's going to go directly on the centre spar. There. Like that. And then they slide up. Holding the fin 90 degrees. I'm going to check that. Take off that piece of tape and it should remain in place. Let's just give it a little tweak, see what it feels like. It feels pretty good, and I gotta say, chaps, that looks very accurately placed. Um, wow, look, an aeroplane appears! An aeroplane appears. Okay, moving swiftly on, let's tissue the centre section. Have a quick tidy up here. Well, it's sort of gone on, but I can't pull it tight between the, the uh, ribs because I can't get in there, or can I? Ooh, look at that. Now, wheels. They're going to be a little... A little bit different because I haven't painted them in yet. I wanted to paint the tyres black. I haven't done that yet and I also wanted to trim down the axles slightly. They recommend you uh, just bend the axles over 
keep the wheels on. Um, didn't want to bend anything too much out of shape. Um, so what I thought was I could trim trim the axles down or snip them off and then put a piece of uh, heat shrink over it just to hold them on. A bit garish in red. Let me uh, work on that. So I'll slip away for a minute. Thanks guys for watching. As you can see, uh, it's coming together quite nicely. But also a couple of little mistakes en route. Like the windshield I cut wrong. Just put me knife through that. Uh, but oh, I'm pleased with it so far. Yeah, nice aeroplane. It looks a flyer. Looks a beauty, actually. <laughs> I think I'm in love. It's a beautiful aeroplane, guys. Makes you want to get your pilot's license for. Uh, Four seater. Still, that's not getting anything done. Daydreaming there. I've decided what I'm going to do with the wheels. I've just put a bit of masking tape on and I've both sides, bit of masking tape, and I've got a black marker, permanent black marker, my daughter tells me. So, in theory, I can just Go all around the tyre. Now I think you agree that looks rather fine. Should we balance it on? See how it goes. That's gonna because I want to cut it down. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that, eh? Fantastic. Well, I was speechless then for a minute, chaps. Speechless. That looks a little bit fine. Yeah, about five mil. We'll take off about five millimeter, get a bit of heat shrink on those. So there they are. Uh, put a little bit of heat shrink uh, tape on them and a little bit of CA just right in the end to make sure they don't come off. The top tissue has had one coat of water and it's tightened out reasonably well. I'll give it a little bit more just to try that little corner off a little bit there. Otherwise, pretty good. I'll give out a couple of light coats tomorrow of lacquer, matte lacquer. The little repair on the wing hasn't gone too badly either, so that will lacquer up. I fitted the rubber motor. Uh, it's a couple of loops of eighth, actually. <laughs> and off the table it seems to work very well so she's ready apart from just a spray the lacquer and she's ready for some test glides oh i tell you what let's do the c or g haven't done that yet okay central gravity says it's about that much which is not a lot so what i'll do is to Pop this back in the bag for the initial trimming and I'll squeeze this in under the nose block somewhere so apart from that she's done so very pleased with that very pretty little aeroplane the Cessna Grillo's Cessna 180 yeah can't wait to give her some test glides uh, the Forecast for the next couple of days, of course, is high winds and rain. <laughs> but that gives me a chance to admire her. Yeah, I like it. Very pretty. I think the wheels have come out quite nicely. Look nice with the red propeller, red wheels, black tyres. The decal's gone on rather well. It's all looking rather nice. So look forward if she does a couple of circuits oh, I've loved it actually really enjoyed this build I've got to say Fokker Wolf 190 is my next build for Grillo's it should be here the next day or two hopefully it's coming over from the States as we speak 
there you go if you learned something watching this video hit the old like button down below hit the subscribe button down below and uh, we'll see you in the next video if you want to make any comments feel free if you've got any questions about tissue covering uh, or general finishing just ask away I'll do my best to help you and next video is going to be the test flight video uh, which will be linkable at the end of this video if I've edited it I haven't done it yet so it might not be there but if it is you'll see it just above the video all right thanks for checking in cheers guys bye